Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! What did she find? You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? W what are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So he's in... So he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. Now Morgana's. Did someone say my name? This again! Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No, I can't believe Akechi sons really. What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is. I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but this truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so. I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah. We won't put up with this injustice. But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So, what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? 
Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah. And now it just all goes back to normal. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. Oh, the bonds are... You'll cooperate okay, too, Okay, so right? I never got bonds maxed in my initial playthrough. So, the bonds I've and made... And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? Uh, awesome! I didn't know this was a thing. What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? P please, I, I beg of you, please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... He's my best friend! Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please. Let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled, got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, coach. You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being.
The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong, and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. Reality bending shenanigans. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. Well, I'm glad to hear that. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. Really? That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Well, I trust you. Mm, sort of. I suppose I'll have to do my best so that you can believe in me in full someday. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. Oh, you're exaggerating. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I don't actually know. Why do you want to know? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. 
Well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? Well, I'm trying to forget. <laughs> you never change, huh? Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. Then again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. Same here. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Like where my treasure is? Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Wonderful. Sorry I'm late. Speak of the devil and she Senpai. shall arrive. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses, trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. You all saved me. Took you long enough. Sorry, man. We were trying real hard, you know. They treated you fine, right? <laughs> Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon, just to hang in there. Oh yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. 
But we heard from boss, you're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> you can still stay as friends. I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. I have never been a delinquent. Really? Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious. <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. <laughs> you guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Hmm. Delicious food and fluffy sheets. Hey, take care of me like this back at home, okay? But seriously. Remember the tail end of Maruki's palace when I was actually flying? That wasn't a dream, right? It sure wasn't. Nice. theory, bud. Don't you still have that star Jose gave you? Oh! Hey, it's... lost all of its luster. It was shining last time you looked at it, right? So it really was the effect of the star. Well, of course it was, now that I think about it. There's no other way that 
The idea of a cat converting into a helicopter could suddenly become a common cognition. Huh. I'm glad you made it back. I'm sorry I couldn't see you today. I'd like to see you tomorrow night, if that's okay. Spend time with Sumire. Never change. Come Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know not I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. Glad I got to see you. <laughs> Same here. I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you. But now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. I'm sorry that I worried you. It's alright. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Is that handmade? Actually, yes, it is. I certainly can eat. But I have a bit of a knack for baking, too. Sumire's chocolate. Aww. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? Yes. Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? It might get lonely. I'll be okay. I'm definitely going to miss you, though. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. You mean... I think you know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Nijima. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. Giri... Giri... Coco? You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. Hmm. Not at all. Thank you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. 
Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Welcome back. I wasn't Doctor. sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. More chocolate. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. As friends? <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later, then. I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. More chocolate. You've done so much for me, I've after all. Built. I wanted to say thanks. I gladly accepted. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. me hanging around I, I can step out for a bit if you like no I'd prefer you stick around everyone I owe something to has got to hear this I'm thinking about moving away moving it's just a hell of a lot's happened this past year you know it's got me thinking about the future and how I still want to get back on the track team that's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility get my knee fixed up while going to school at the earliest, all this is gonna kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. We'll always be connected. We have phones, after all. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. Also, our phones. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. 
I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride, though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? Jesus, that's his treasure. They were killed. We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? That's Boss, not what he meant. Thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> down! <laughs> whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Hey, oh, great yeah. cheese! Grab a Are we sushi? lucky? Sushi! <laughs> Hello, senpai. Sorry for messaging you so late. I just wanted to see this picture from our first shrine visit. Dog. That takes me back. Now you're Sumire. Where have you been? Been all along. I'll support you. We're a team. is really dragging. Oh yeah. Are you ready for tomorrow? What? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Oh, what should I do? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. I don't know Fine. what white day is. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Thanks. Whoa. The chief has an ultimate date plan? I'd better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh-huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere. But it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? 
The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Bay. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! Oh, I'm screwed. <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but... I know a place. <sighs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So, once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. The flowers. Good. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Got it. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? Dinner for two tomorrow. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. I'm a friend of Sojiro Sakura. He told me to call. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. So yeah, this is gonna be one really long finale episode. Today's the day. Think. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, think harder about this. Yeah. I was gonna buy her some jewelry too. Oh! I. That okay? Hold on, I need to express a pre. A scarlet rose. Good luck. Okay, don't worry. All right. Sumire. Yes, Yoshizawa speaking. Wanna go to Shinigawa tonight? Right now? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's fine. I don't have practice today, so I'll head over right away. See you there! Oh, there are so many different kinds of fish. I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. <laughs> Are you still scared? No, maybe because I've got you here, or something like that. <laughs> um, senpai, if I'm wrong, you can just tell me, but is this a date for White Day? Of course. I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, 
Wait, I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What do you say we keep this going? A little dinner. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. I hope you enjoy it. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. I feel the same way. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! The city skyline. I have a gift for you. What? Thank you! So much! Where did you keep those? I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> You're going to spoil me, you know. I don't know if I even deserve to be this happy. I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. I look forward to it. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um... We still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hey, you're finally ticking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Okay. Off you go, then. Try not to cry! <laughs> and now I say my goodbyes. Um... Wow. I figured that would have been done in the cutscene. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. That reminds me. Maybe I should give Sojiro my diary. Here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. The diary of the Phantom Thieves leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me, anyway. Recipe notes. Here, I want you to have these. Yeah, I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves, right? Need you, Mom. You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. 
I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? Still trying to catch me? <laughs> right. I'm taking you in. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. A business card. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Oh, hey. You're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm relieved too. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here. I want you to have this. A dog tag. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? No, I can't use that restroom. That's dumb, but okay. Yep. Hey! Let's see it. Oh. What a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Thanks for everything. Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. Unlimited service. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Oh. So, you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. Yep. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. First in a trilogy, right? Wait, we're making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. But if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history.
Hey, uh, you're moving tomorrow, right? Don't forget to practice at home. Keep working hard, too. Yeah, whatever happens from now on, I'm gonna keep winning, too. If I lose, then I'll deal with it, just like you taught me. Oh, right. I returned the money, and he forgave me. I'm glad. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much, I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. The gun controller. See? That's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days, I'm kind of too busy helping Mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but... And I am. Now, uh, you seem pretty cool. So, I'm, really I'm not. still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. That's everyone. Are you really sh Yeah, hey, that's um, everyone. I actually have a present for you, too. The scarf. Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle, it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. I mean, Akechi's dead, so I can't even find him anywhere. Well then... You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? It's hard to say. I see. I guess you did almost die. Plus, whatever other crazy stuff I don't know about. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Now make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want her getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Moda's your responsibility maker. now. Leave Sojiro to me. I'm counting on you. All right. I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. You too. I am free from my attic prison. <laughs> well, that's a cold thing to say. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, Come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. I truly am grateful. Thank you for everything. Yeah.
<laughs> after we said we'd disband. We are all on break after all. No more entrance exams. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Oh, shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? Maruki? That's You're new. suggesting we split up? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Bye! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? I did not see that coming. There's no charge. Oh. If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. Good luck. <sighs> Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. <laughs> we'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? Alright, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train so schedule. So I'm not going in. See you later, my dude! <laughs> I'll text you, okay? Come on, sit down. Oh, the cars are still following them. That is a very different ending. taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? <laughs> Told you I was coming with you! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Well, that was... Oh, it's still going. <laughs> and that's the ending. Well, I gotta say, I'm not disappointed. It was very, very different. But it was... I gotta say, the twist with Yoshizawa was not something I saw coming. I was in fucking shock. I was able to maximize more confidence. I was able to... You weren't. There's a lot of the stuff that's the same from the base game, and... Yeah, I got a bit of a samey feel, but there's new twists, there's new locations, there's new spins on the bosses and palace designs, and I like most of them. Akuma notwithstanding, it's still terrible. In fact, it's actually worse than the first game. I'm not letting it go, it was fucking horrible. But overall, if you can find this game at a reasonable price, go ahead and grab it. I loved every minute. Most every minute. Didn't like Akuma's Palace. Any of it. Any of it. Dog. But, that's all I got to say. The credits roll.
僕らが二度